Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the beautiful add-on from the folks at B Production that was just announced and this is called Light Studio. This is for product photographers and for those who like to do some very interesting lighting inside of Blender as this comes with 37 ready to use fully customizable light with a couple of interesting options that let you get started with it. There's a couple of things that we think can be updated with these and of course there are also some add-ons that are simply related to something like this which we're going to talk about at the end of the video. So with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So the Blender simply open up right here. To get started, all we need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference, go over to where we have our add-ons and if you're using Blender 4.2 and above, you need to go over to where you've got your add-ons, go over to the drop down and click on install to disk. But if you're using the previous versions of Blender, which is Blender 4.1 and lower, then you can simply click on install and from here you can simply select the directory where you have the Light Studio add-on saved. With that, click on the install button and automatically that will be installed. Next thing you need to do is click on the bugger menu save your preference and close the preference window. And with that done, once you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that we have B production right here and we can start adding light. So if we simply click on the add light system, the first thing which you notice is we do have all, a thumbnail, and another light list thumbnail. Within the all, this is where you get to find all the light types that currently exist with this. This currently comes with three light type system, which has to do with procedural light, the HDR lights, and also reflectors. And for us to actually start working with this light, we need a model. And for us to get the model, what we're going to do is take advantage of the free Sketchfab plugin, which you can download with a link in the description. So if you simply download this, you can install it, sign in, and you can search for as many free models that you can get that exist on Sketchfab. And for this case, we'll search for the Apple Vision because we'll like to take a look at the Apple Vision Pro and see some of the cool things that we can do with it. So we can simply select that and we can bring that in. And this is basically what we're going to be getting. Let's just simply go ahead and get rid of that cube, select this piece and get rid of that. Awesome. So what we have here looks pretty nice. Now for the rendering to start happening, make sure that we have our scene set up as cycles. Of course you can work with EV, but we're simply going to set these as cycles. Once we turn on the light system, automatically we are transported into a white background. So at this point, you can simply go all the way down and turn this off. So by default, it just comes in and you have to actually like literally go in to turn it off. This model looks cool. And to start beautifying this model, the first thing which you like to do is to throw in a light. So with this selected, you need to select the surface and click on add light. Now, once we do that, we can simply go ahead and scale this all the way out and we start seeing that light right there. We can move this light however we want. And if we would like this not to block the camera, we can go over here and say hide to camera. So with that, we can simply move things around. We can also choose to blur this if we want that as well. So we're simply going to peg this right at this edge and we can proceed to add some more light. We need some backlight. So for the backlight, what we're going to do is to simply throw in an LED panel. So let's throw in that strong LED panel, go over there, have that selected, scale this all the way up and position this right behind the whole thing. So right now we do have a very nice looking render and it's looking pretty nice. And you know, you don't necessarily need to like select these, you know, and, and move everywhere you want. You can literally Position this reflection however you want by simply jumping over into the camera view, making sure that you have the right object selected. So in this case, we do have the umbrella light. And I would like to suggest to the creators, you know, once a light gets selected, it would be nice to just have it selected right here instead of, you know, selecting that and then going over to select it. For example, if I go in and select that, I need to make sure I have it selected else. Whatever operations I'll be doing will not necessarily translate as much. So in this case, if we do have this one selected, instead of moving these around, say for example, we like to move it like that, what we could do is we can click on position reflection. And so once we do that, we can now position this reflection where we want it to be. Another interesting thing is you can make multiple copies of the same thing and move it around. So we can get that and we can also go over to the reflection panel. So we can just simply press the escape key to go out of that mode go over to the reflector silver, which is this reflector by the side, and we can click on the position reflection and also position this where we would like it to be. So this is a, it's pretty interesting how this works. 
and for the most part, I think a lot of creators will benefit from using this. I would also want to suggest a few things to the creators and these include a few options that might make it to subsequent updates. So you know how we have the background. The background just simply allows you to do one of these three things. Either you can throw in a huge white light, number one, or you can do a simple gradient. For the backdrop, probably you want to make it a little bit more cute, having some colors like so. Or you can totally just simply turn this off. It would be nice to see some studio background come with it, just like we have with Afterglow. So this is a tool from Curtis Holt, which is also super cool. And it does give you some of these cool studio lights and studio cages that you can just get a one click solution out of. And finally, there is one thing that I did notice that I would love to also see with another installment of this tool. As cool as this tool is and as beautiful as the lighting is, there is no light linking, which I also think should come with subsequent updates. But other than that, everything works really cool. So for example, if we like to throw in the procedural light and we would like to just simply turn all of these off and just simply focus on that procedural light, let's also go ahead and turn this off. Right now we can, as we can simply select any of this light, scroll all the way down, make the decisions of the lights that we want, and then we can click on any of the surface that we want this to work on and click on add light. In that way, we can simply add that light. I can go ahead and scale this and once you start manipulating the light you would notice that this automatically becomes invalid so i would also love to see a situation where we can have some updates to this and again some updates to you know the procedural light being able to blow them would be nice the fall off looks cool like at this point i know we do have fall off if we can blow this that would also contribute to the overall beauty of this tool so this is it light studio for blender is now here and it is amazing for anyone who would like to start creating product renders of course there's a couple of things here and there that needs to be updated with subsequent releases but at this point this is one cool tool that would suggest that you can simply get especially right now they're doing a 25 percent launch offer so this is it for those who like to take a look at this or probably you'd like to see some of other cool add-ons then links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace